Investigators tell me to this day they still get tips about Tara Calico and they still follow up on them. Their goal to bring Tara back to her family. These are photos of 19 year old Tara Calico, a pretty athletic UNM student, a beloved daughter and sister. I think she had a bright future in front of her and, and that's what's sad is, you know, she didn't get that. On September 20th, 1988, Tara left her Valencia County house for a bike ride. She never came home. It's hard. It's sad. Very sad. For days and weeks after her disappearance, investigators combed the area near her house in Boleyn, searching for clues. Investigators with the Sheriff's Department tell me they found a plastic piece of Tara's Walkman near some tire tracks on the side of the road. That is the only physical evidence in her case. No bicycle, no clothing, no Tara. The FBI and the Valencia County Sheriff's Office has been looking for her ever since. At one point a year after her disappearance, a photo of a little boy and young woman who looked like Tara, both bound and duct taped, was found in the parking lot of a store in Florida. The FBI determined the girl in the photo was not Tara Calico. In 2018, the FBI released this sketch of what they believe Tara would look like now. We're still looking for you. We have not given up. We won't give up. 31 years later, the community, law enforcement, and Tara's family are still holding on to hope. Investigators with the Valencia County Sheriff's Office say more than likely there was foul play in Tara's disappearance. They also say if this was a crime, after three decades, the statute of limitations will likely have run, meaning they probably couldn't file criminal charges, but they still want answers, especially for Tara's family. For Target 7, I'm Nancy Laughlin.